name's Heather Gray. I am Director of Strategy and Growth at Aspen Advisors, a company that was really in the talent analytics space and helps mm -hmm. organizations manage their data from a number of different systems and help move their business forward and create efficiencies. Wait, big data? So this is a thing? It is a, it is a thing. It's still a little bit of a new thing in, in, in the HR space, but we have all these systems out there that are, have, have generated massive amounts of information. They don't necessarily all talk to each other. You know, we've got lots of reporting coming out of all those systems, and organizations are really having to figure out how do you put that all together? How do you create, um, take all that massive amount of information that's coming in because technology has changed things mm -hmm. to such an extent. You know, how can you take that and really help uh, make data-driven business decisions? Um, and in some cases, be able to predict where your organization needs to go. Um, and from predictive analytics, it's really around things like um, understanding what your uh, flow is, mm -hmm. uh, understanding where your recs are going to be and how your pipelines are needing to match up to that, some trending, uh, and really being able to, to shift resources in the organization based on where you need to go. So, I mean, that, that's very fascinating, and you're right, that is where we need to start heading to. I think there's probably other applications for predictive analytics that we can use as well, right? If we're looking at application of marketing principles into recruitment, what are some of the things that we can do to help acquire talent? Absolutely. Well, and with what's going on in the social media space, you know, um, recruiting is, is really at the beginning of kind of figuring that part out. You know, how do you have the right kinds of conversations with candidates? Um, how do you, you know, where do you find the candidates that you want to talk to? How do you engage in that dialogue? And how does that ultimately relate to your end hire, right? Your applicant flow and things along those ways. So there's data that can help us find that? Absolutely. You can look at, you know, all of the metrics, you know, the, the beautiful thing about the web and online is we now can track everything from likes and visits and um, response rates. And um, we can actually measure the amount of influence that an individual has online. So that might be you as an HR professional. It might be your recruiting team. It might be an individual a candidate that you're going after. And what's interesting about social media in particular is two candidates are not necessarily created equal in the social space. If you make an impact with one candidate, but their reach online and their visibility online is tenfold, you know, if there's a synergy to that. So if you know who your candidates are online, you can, and you can predict that and you can predict their reach, then you can really look at the world of candidates and the pool of people you want to talk to and be able to target the right kinds of folks that will allow you to get to other conversations that you want to have. So I know your business colleague Andrew just presented with Trinity Industries talking about what they're doing with predictive analytics and, and really how they've used data to make some better decisions around recruitment. You know, that's one of the things that you can hear when you come to a social recruiting strategies conference. But do you feel like that's really where the value is? Can people learn enough about it at a conference to really be able to make any change? You know, I think this is really about getting exposure mm -hmm. and understanding how different organizations are managing the overwhelming amount of information, data, and reports that are coming in. And so it's sort of, you know, not all organizations are going to take the same path. But I think coming to a conference like this allows you to, you know, really understand, you know, there's there's 10 different ways to do this, and mm -hmm. this is what might work for my organization, and begin incorporating some of that. So going from you know, not having great analytics and reporting to using predictive analytics is quite a process. Mm -hmm. And some organizations have to stabilize their business, mm -hmm. some are trying to optimize their business, and then some are trying to transform their business. So depending on where an organization is in their life cycle, there's gonna be different strategies and tactics. And a conference like this is really where they're gonna be able to explore some of those ideas, figure out where they are, and where they wanna go. What's been the most valuable thing for you so far at this conference? Like what insider? Yeah, I think um, really the quality of individual who's here and the quality of conversation that is happening. Um, this, uh, you know, social recruiting strategies, this conference, this is really about, you know, it's not really talking about all the past stuff. It's really about the future of where the industry is going. And to some degree, talent analytics is behind um, other business functions mm -hmm. around this route. So it's, it's really, um, I think, helping the entire industry move forward in a really positive way. Uh, important conversations to have. Well, hopefully we'll see you in Boston. Hopefully we will.